Dear friends, I am again appearing before the camera after a long time. I am sure that you would forgive me for not being regular because I had my own academic work because I am not a professional YouTuber. Thus possibly people have started expecting that if you start doing a YouTube video, you are a regular one doing the one video after another. Those are for who are trying to make a living through YouTube, which I am not trying to make. My idea is to just share some joy of mathematics with you. So today I am going to introduce to you to my new office. So our whole department, the Department of Economic Sciences has shifted to a very posh new building in IIT Kanpur called the Engineering and Sciences Building number 2 and I am here on the 4th floor. So my room is 403 and uh, I would like to show you my uh, a new office. So here is a beautiful window with some sun shades here which overlooks into the view outside which has a very good view. So it so there is a lot of incentive to remain in this office and work and this office is filled with books. Um, my postdoc student Kuntal is actually trying behind the camera. So if you look at this side, I just got a new shelf done to bring in a lot of books from my home and put it here. And this is filled with books and books and books. For example, just arbitrarily I pick up a book. And that is a very famous book, Linear Programming and Economic Analysis. Robert Dorfman, Rob, Paul S. Samuelson, Nobel Laureate and Robert M. Solo, Nobel Laureate in Economics. So it's sometimes called uh, Dosso, this book. Hmm. So I have read a part of it, not everything. It's a very, very different way of looking at linear programming compared to the mathematical one. But it's very interesting actually. For example, you can say the numerical method for unconstrained optimization and nonlinear equations. It's a very famous book on optimization by Johnny Dennis Jr. and Robert Scannable. So which uh, there, are, there are many, many books, for example, here is a book I would recommend anybody interested in calculus should read Zero, the Biography of a Dangerous Idea by Charles Seyfi. So there, are, there is a lot, a lot of books I can do, a, a lot of videos on this. A video on these two books would be definitely done. One of my favorite books on non-Euclidean geometry by Robert Bonola. It's a Robert book, which and a book which I bought out bought pretty recently. It's a book uh, called The Worlds Out of Nothing, a course in the history of geometry of the 19th century by Jeremy Gray. It, it, it is also a wonderful book. Actually, sometimes I wonder that uh, in subjects like non-Euclidean geometry, if you take a more historical viewpoint, you read more historical books, you learn those subjects better. So here, if you see, here is my, my own desk for sitting, which is obviously my table is full of clutter with a lot of books. And here is a book I would suggest anybody who is really interested in mathematics to see if, see if the library has this one, the Princeton Companion to Applied Mathematics. This is a volume which is a companion to a Princeton Companion to Mathematics, which was for pure mathematics rather. And this is on the, for the more applied uh, things and it's a kind of lovely book with huge amount of subjects discussed here by very big, nice people, very, very famous people. And here also is uh, my stuffed with books. You can see this is stuffed with books and books and books. Another book on which I will definitely do a video is A Certain Ambiguity. So this is a book from which I will do some readings also for you to enjoy. This is a very interesting book. Can, can there be a novel about mathematics? Answer is yes and this book is a very, very good example. Most of the books here is of optimization which is related to my research and also here largely many of the books are related to my research in the first part but there are many other, other interesting books here. Another book which is of quite big interest. I bought it because I just wanted to know some mathematical history 
is the, called the Doctrine of Triangles, a history of modern trigonometry by Glenn Van Brumelen. Glenn Van Brumelen is the world's top expert on the history of trigonometry. And I think this book is beautiful and has a lot of lot of interesting things for anyone who is interested in mathematics. So we will do a, some, some program on this book. And there is, of course, the mathematics of uh, sorry, I think this is a bit crap. Okay. So this uh, so Glenn Van Brumelen has another book, The Mathematics of Heavens and Earth, The Early History of Trigonometry, which actually precedes that book. So here you learn actually how Whole, whole idea of trigonometry comes, how early astronomy begins. So it's it's it's, it's a time, but the, this is something you should read in leisure hours. It's not for when you are doing serious research in mathematics, you hardly would have time. And this is called Heavenly Mathematics, the Forgotten Art of Spherical Trigonometry. It is about the type of mathematics uh, the early days astronomers used and, and still many of the methods are used. So, uh, Maybe we'll, I'll do a kind of, on these three books, I'll do a video. Actually, mm -hmm. in, the problem is that in mathematics, you do not, you cannot read all the books you have. So maybe my next program, I should call it as uh, books read, half read and unread. Even unread books is, you see the preface, you see some parts of it, you read a little part of it. And but you don't read everything. So books which are read, which are unread. For example, this is one of the greatest books in optimization theory, optimization and non-smooth analysis by Francis Clark. His name here is written Frank H. Clark, but now he is called, he calls himself Francis Clark, and he has shifted from Canada to France. One of the greatest names in optimization theory. So when I was a researcher, as a student and as a researcher, I have used this book many many times. So I've just read only the parts which I required to read and uh, I, I didn't bother much about other issues here. So but now I want to take a more careful look at the book. So it's a kind of rereading but it uh, definitely, definitely uh, will give me a much better view of the subject in which I am deeply involved. So it's just uh, like that. So. I hope you like my new office, it's a big one, it's central air conditioned and here there is a beautiful uh, photograph uh, gifted to me by, by uh, Shotarupa, Doc, Professor Dr. Shotarupa Roy from the finance department at IIT Kanpur, not finance department, it's a, it's a finance, finance division in the department of humanities and social sciences. She and her husband both, her husband is in the Department of Design and head of the Media Center at IIT Kanpur, Dr. Sathya Kiroi, Professor Sathya Kiroi. So we, we um, both of them are, this husband wife couple are, are family friends and both of them are excellent artists. So this is a gift for me, for my new office, which I would cherish. And maybe you would again try to look at the huge bookshelf here. Here is possibly the book, Calculus by Michael Spivak, which I keep on refer, referring to students. This is a book by uh, Apostle. Here is a book by Klein, which people should read. And here is a huge collection of books on complex analysis. And one day I will do a video again on certain books on complex analysis and which part uh, is done well by which books. And here is mostly you see optimization books. Here is largely for research. Here is Frank's linear algebra in the Indian edition. So here would largely these books would be really mostly would be used for research. Not every one of them, but largely. So there are several books, several things, many things to do, many. So here is an example of a journal of mathematics. Optimization is the name of this journal, a journal of mathematical programming and operations research. I had a paper in this journal, so. I just I had a copy. In those days, they used to send a copy of the journal also in which you had a paper and nowadays, of course, you have everything online, so nothing is sent. But I enjoyed the paper format. 
So this is a quite a respected journal in my area. So here I am with this new setting, enjoying myself. Also I have my postdoc here, so we I can keep on discussing things. So with this I would end my show today and thank you Kuntal for actually taking the trouble and always remember that if you want to progress in life keep this in your mind focus is the key of course you need to read a lot of things uh, about various aspects of mathematics but you need to focus on certain area which interests you deeply of course if you ask me what is written in this board this is essentially a research topic so i can't explain to you can't be understood by cannot be understood by everybody. So anyway, I hope you liked my new room and here you see a photo of the great mathematician and Nobel Prize in Econo Nobel Prize in Economics, Professor Leonid Kantorovic, who is actually can be said to be the real originator of the problem of linear programming. So Danzig developed the easiest method to solve it in the finite dimensional setting. But he also, in Kantaravik also introduced the problem of optimal transport, which is the infinite dimensional version of the standard transportation problem of linear programming. So anyway, I have spoken a lot, telling you too many things in too short a time. And I hope you would you would have seen, enjoyed at least the uh, program because it's a new place, new area, maybe you can see that this part of IIT Kanpur, that was the building we were originally in. My, my office was earlier in that building called the faculty building, straight the building that you see there. So anyway, wishing you all a very nice uh, and happy uh, evening. With that, I end my video. Thank you.